guys, it's Hannah. So today's video is going to be my ColourPop haul slash giveaway. So it's kind of two parts. I ordered one order and they actually sent me two of my orders so I'm able to actually give one to you guys and that was kind of a fluke but I emailed them and they said that's perfectly fine. So after that, um, Black Friday came around and they had more specials and deals so I made another order. So let me start with the second order actually this is what i got on black friday so this isn't the stuff you guys are gonna get um i'll show you that next i'm gonna kind of separate it into like the orders um obviously i'm not going to be swatching the ones i'm giving to you they're all gonna be brand new never touched never open nothing like that i might put them in a cute packaging i'm not sure but all the giveaway rules will be explained in the down bar, so if you're just here for the giveaway skip to the, the end but otherwise here is my ColourPop haul. Okay, so here is the second order. I just love their packaging. It's so stinking cute. The first thing I got is their new, um, like, limited edition little mini liquid lipsticks. And this is in the kit called Kitty. Um, these ones are all limited edition shades. I really like their liquid lipsticks, but I find that I have way too many lip products and I don't use, like, hardly any of them. So these are perfect because, if you know... It dries up or whatever who really cares look how tiny they are they're so cute and you can just throw them in your handbag so it comes with this color which is be merry and i'm going to obviously swatch all these for you so be merry is kind of like a salmony true pink color so that's really pretty um the next one is times square which is a nude like a nice like darker nude for like fall and winter time so love that the next one is called Glitter, even though it's matte, so I think that's kind of cute. But this kind of reminds me of Bauhaus from Kat Von D. Um, it's a really nice, like, magenta purple color. I really enjoy this one a lot. Um, these are kind of some of my favorite, like, bold lips to wear. Then you have Last Dance, which is sort of a brick red. It's not like a bright red by any means. It's sort of like a brown red. So that's really fun because I have a lot of bright reds and, you know, Sometimes it's just too much, so this is kind of a fun, like, in between, like, a brown and a red. And then the last one that comes in the kit is Bianca, which I hate the name of that, whatever. But it is a really nice, like, kind of pale, grazy nude. It kind of resembles the one I'm wearing now, which I'll show you in the next order. But, um, it's a little bit lighter, so I really like that. And then I got two lip products. The first one's a lippy pencil, which just came out of the packaging, but this is... Tootsie. So this is kind of like that dark brownie grayish color for all of the liquid lipsticks that I got that are kind of that grayish color. I'm not wearing this today because I didn't want to wear it really yet because I haven't tested it out. But um, I really like the color of it and I think it's going to go with a lot of my lip colors. And I just realized I just said but um like a bunch of times which totally reminds me of How I Met Your Mother when they made a drinking game out of Robin saying but um. Anyone remember that? Anyways! <laughs> The next lip product I got um, is Kathleen Light's Lumiere Lippy, Lippy, Lippy Stick. So their lippy sticks are kind of fun. I like the way that they're shaped. I like the whole concept of them and this color is beautiful. It reminds me dead on of Nars Anna which was my favorite lip lipstick ever but once the tip wasn't sharp anymore it's just not... It's not my go-to as much as when it was like nice and sharp all the time. I don't know. Is anyone else like that? Like, do you guys have like a weird thing with your lipsticks when they're not sharp anymore? You don't use them as much. I don't know if it's just me. But this one, I feel like will stay kind of pointy and sharp. So we'll see. I like the color so far a lot. Then in this order, I got a bunch of eyeshadows. So we'll just plow on through. Um, the main reason I wanted to shop through ColourPop was for the eyeshadows because I have a really hard time finding, finding like really nice glittery shimmery eyeshadows that aren't like the Stila Magnificent Metals they are like $32 a piece and I'm just not about that. So these ones are so cheap and you know every, they're like five bucks and they're beautiful. So the first one is Stereo which is just a really pretty plummy cranberry with glitter in it and this is just one of their super shock metallic Ugh. super shock metallic shadows so I really really love that one the colors in it are fantastic the next one I got is going to be 
Moonshine. I thought the name on this one was so cute. And this one is also a metallic. I think most of the ones I got were metallic. And this is just a brown with like a gold glitter in it. Kind of good for more neutral days when you just want to add a little punch of color. So, or color sparkle. So that one's really, really nice. I love that one. Um, I got a lot of like more neutral ones in this batch. Let me see. Oh. Then I got On the Rocks. I think I saw Desi Makeup using this like a long time ago in like a bronze smoky eye and I've kind of wanted it ever since so I decided to just pick it up and try it. I haven't tried it yet but it is really beautiful. It's just a bronze with a little bit of gold glitter. This is also a metallic. Um, so that one's going to be more fun in the summer but it, I mean it's not like it's just a summer color. I just feel like I would personally use it when I'm a little tanner or thick tanned you know. The next one I got is a maze, also a metallic, and this one's just like a light champagne color, pretty standard. Looks like it has some like gold reflex in it. I haven't swatched any of these ones yet or used them yet, so you will see in the swatches. Um, also, please excuse my hands. Some of my nails are coming off and I'm deciding whether I want to keep my nails or give them a break, so just excuse that. Okay, now we have Fringe, which is also a metallic, and this one is just like it's kind of the color of my sweater. It's kind of just a cream with a little bit of very fine glitter in it. So that's really pretty just for kind of like a lid color on a nice and easy day or when you want to do like a spotlight in the middle of the eye. It's nice and like shell colored or beige so it's not going to be like too cool toned. I like that it has a lot of warm tones. And then this one I did swatch on accident because my nail gouged into it and this is Bay. This is also metallic and this color is freaking beautiful you guys like it doesn't look like too terribly much in the pot but when I put it on my hand my hand will bruise for like three days that's how intense this color is it is a dark dark purple with blue blue glitter in it it's just beautiful like I didn't think I would actually use this one but now I'm thinking that this is going to be like a staple in my collection because it is such a gorgeous color I'm really glad I picked it up plus the name is cute this one is Lala and this is an ultra metallic and um, I'm assuming that when I swatch this one for you guys, it's going to be like a foiled. It is definitely like a bronzy kind of peachy color. And it doesn't really look like it has glitter. It just looks like it's really metallic, which is why it's called an ultra metallic. So the last eyeshadow in this batch is Millionaire. Not Millionaire, but Millionaire. And this is also a metallic. And this one is like a really glittery bronzy color. So it's really fun. It's a little bit more of a cool tone bronzy in my eyes. So this one would look really good with like the, um, oh crap, which one was it? Oh yeah, Fringe. So I think these two would look really cute together. Um, this one for me would just be a nice lid color or even in the crease if you just want to add a little something. So that was the first order, um, actually my second order, but the first one I'm going to show you guys. Now this second order is the one that you guys are going to receive every piece that I'm about to show you. So the giveaway is on every piece that I'm about to show you from here on out, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eyeshadows and three lip products. So we'll start with the lip products, break it up a little bit. First, you're gonna get the Lippy Pencil in um, Lumiere. So I bought the Lippy Pencil first, thinking that I could just, like, it's a good, this is definitely right up my alley, the color. And don't worry, like I said, I'm not opening the ones you guys are gonna get, so don't don't worry about that. But, um, so you'll get the Lumiere Lippy Pencil. Um, then you will get two liquid lipsticks, one in Beeper and one in Trap. So I'll show you Beeper first. It's a little bit darker than Trap and a little more brownie. So this is Beeper. It's definitely like an on-trend color right now. I like the name of it. I've seen a lot of girls using this color. I think it's really pretty. I haven't worn it out yet, but I enjoy it. So you'll get that color. It's really prettier. The second one you'll get, I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. I have a NYX Butter Gloss on top of it just because I felt like it, but this color, to me, it's called Trap, and it's a dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere, which you guys know is one of my favorites. So to me, they look very similar. This one, it 
shows up a little bit darker on the lips than it does on the tube, but I kind of like that. I'm not even wearing a lip liner with it today. It's really easy to apply. It lasts forever. I wore this when I was um, helping out with my fashion show at my salon, and it lasted all night. This is like my all-time favorite liquid lipstick right now, and it, these come with a really good amount of product for $6. It's kind of insane. I know I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on their liquid lipsticks, but I have personally only had good things happen with them, so I would recommend them. Now let's move on to the eyeshadows that you guys will get if you win the giveaway. The first one is called Sequin and it's a metallic and it's kind of just like a pinky bronzy metallic color. So it's kind of got some coppery in it, kind of got some bronzy, kind of pinky, got a little bit of sparkle but mostly just like that true metallic color. So that's really beautiful color. I love it. Next is going to be Cricut. So this is a really really fun one. It's like a purple but it's like a a mid deep purple with little tiny glitters in it. It's really, really pretty. This one's really awesome for like purple smoky eyes or if you wanna add some of the color to your look but you don't want it to be like a bright in your face color. That one's awesome. Next we have So Quiche. And this is one that I have been wearing all the time. I love this color. I don't even know if it, the camera's gonna do it justice. This is like kind of like a greeny color with a bajillion like lavendery purple sparkles in it. It is such a cool color. I used this on everybody at the fashion show. Everybody loved it. It's such a fun color. Obsessed. If you get any, you got to get so quiche. So whoever wins this, I hope you love it as much as I do. Okay, the next one's called Glitter Glitterati, and I'm pretty sure all these are metallics, guys, so just I'm going to stop saying that. But Glitterati is basically like a frosty glitter, like like it's a really really light it's lighter than my sweater it's a really really pale pale almost like sh gold champagne but like really light so i like that one it's a really great lid color or inner corner or highlight or whatever you want to do with it that's what i would recommend the next one i have on my eyes underneath another color if i can get it open and this one is game face i feel like this is one of their popular ones it is a really really intense coppery orangey color it's more of a metallic and not really a glitter but it is pow in your face gorgeous i love this especially for i have green eyes and i feel like this one brings out my eye color really really well and i really enjoy it and let me see which one do i have over that i think it's this one it's one of their newer colors yep it's called dgaf and this one is like um a brown with just a bunch of like little green and different colored glitters in it. I love this color. It's really gorgeous. It's really fun to pat over any brown looks because it doesn't like take away from the look, but it adds a little bit of glitter. So that one's really, really awesome. Love it. I bought it because I saw Luster Lux using it and I was like, yeah. I got I Heart This and this is just another one of those light colors and it is more of a creamy light glittery color i don't really know how to justify getting colors that are all so similar but it's really pretty this one's more of a neutral too so i used this on my little cousin and it looked really pretty on her and it didn't look like i was trying to put too much makeup on a teenager you know what i'm saying then i okay sorry if you can hear that they decided to mow the lawn halfway through my filming anyway i'll just talk louder Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this one's called three, just like the letter three. What the hell did I just say? The number three. I'm just going to show you the swatch. We're done talking about it. We're just going to move past the moment. It was pretty awful. I know. I'm sorry. I am mental today. And the last one is called hammered. And this one is a forest green with glitter in it. I love this one. You guys know I just love army green. It's so fun and like, I don't know, I don't really experiment a lot with like army green in my eyeshadow. So I thought this one was definitely a must get and it's really, really fun. So I got that one and I definitely love, it has like little gold glitters in it almost. So this one is definitely a fun one. Which, you know, you gotta get some fun ones and some neutral ones, which I definitely am set on ColourPop for a really, really long time, you guys. Alright, so, 
that about wraps up this video i have all of your guys um stuff in another box i haven't touched it like i said i'm gonna take out like my address and all that and i might put it in a different baggie to send to you guys but you'll be getting all of this stuff so if you want to win basically i'm going to set up the giveaway through a website so it's fair so it's not like i just pick my favorite or whatever i don't know what that would even be but if you guys want to enter which i really really hope you do please enter um go down in the down bar and click the link and enter to win and the giveaway ends sunday what is it the 20th sunday the 20th at midnight so i will announce the winners on monday so you guys um enter 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 well i guess enter once <laughs> until sunday tell your friends and family about it you know like let's just get everybody to enter to win because it's the holiday season and it's about giving right 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 okay so basically to enter to win um i would like you guys to be subscribed to my youtube channel obviously and then you're going to be sent to a link in the giveaway where you can like my Facebook page. So if you have liked my Facebook page and you're subscribed to me, you're good to go. And I will announce the winners, like I said, on Monday the 21st. Hopefully you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Love you. Bye. Time holiday glam makeup look. So this is what I came up with. I really wanted to do a cranberry smoky eye. Um, I've probably done a million of them, but this one's different.